today's today's drill is something that uh, I end up doing a lot in this parking lot, which is close to my office. I can come out here and throw for 30 minutes. My lunch break. It's a 300 foot parking lot, so I can only really push it so far from us, you know, I'm throwing over these trees or whatever. But um, what I like to do is see how little I can put into the shot and still get the distance out of it. How little, what do I mean how little? How little of the physical movement can I get out, still take advantage of the hit. And what I mean by the hit is this holding through this, this point. So out here where I'm still holding on to the disc and trying to throw the ejection. So a lot of the timing is confusing uh, with this. What, what I'm looking to do, ideally, is have the disc come out of my my grip in a way that I'm slinging it as it's coming out. So then I get to come out. That's accelerating. This is coming out. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to sling and my wrist, this is, if this is too much for, for where you're at, just ignore this next part. But what I'm, tr what I'm trying to do is extend the wrist as it's coming out and as my shoulder is pulling just this little degree of motion. So then when I can do it slow, so let's say I'm just going to do it here with a straight pull back. And as I come through, I want to time it, and I'm going to use very little uh, of my body, but I'm going to try and take it full advantage of the hit. building and have an angry neighbor that's the power of the hit is that it's really easy to piss off people I hit the building yeah I was thrown back this way this time because uh, I got lucky and didn't hit a window okay the fence is about uh, I'm going to continue down this path of, if I just throw the disc, using the mechanism of extending forward from the right pack. Ultimately, I just want to show you guys that it's, uh, it's really powerful. It's by far the most powerful aspect of everything.
good. I like it. I mean, it really doesn't take much.